And now let me talk about the continuous scroll, the real SharePoint 2013 continuous scroll. What's this, how it works, and why it's important. The index, the, the way how the index is created and stored in SharePoint 2013 has been changed. And as I have mentioned, in case of full crawl and incremental crawl, the crawler goes to the content source, picks up the list of the items first. And this list is usually huge. It's, it's, it can be 10,000 of items. So it takes time. And the next thing that you have to know about the full and incremental crawl that they cannot be overlapped. So as you can see on this um, picture, this is how incremental crawls are e expected to behave. That means if I schedule the incremental crawl to run in every two hours. So the first one starts here, the second one starts here, third one here, etc., etc. So if this is point zero, it happens after two hours, four hours, and six hours, etc., etc. <laughs> and my expectation is that the incremental crawl should get finished before the next one gets started, because incremental crawls cannot get overlapped. They cannot run at the same time. So the first one has to get finished before the second one can get started. This is my expectation, and this is the expectation of every search administrator. But the re reality is different, because sometimes the change set is too big, or the environment is too hectic, as I have mentioned. You know, sometimes the incremental core takes four for, uh, five minutes, sometimes it takes four hours. So sometimes the duration of the incremental crawl is much longer than the period of my schedule. So the second incremental crawl should start at this point after two hours, but basically the first one gets finished only here. What happens? The second one cannot get started at all. And with this incremental crawl, my expectation regarding to the content freshness is this. I would like to achieve a content freshness of two hours. That means I would like to get the new content or the changed content crawled in maximum two hours. Why? Because I have scheduled the incremental crawl to run in every two hours. But instead of this, the content freshness can be as bad as this one because of those latency, because the new uh, incremental crawl process cannot get started in time. So it's not good. And this is the reality. So it happens a lot. It happens sometimes very extremely. Sometimes it's not that bad. So sometimes this curve is is much more flat like this, or maybe this, but sometimes it goes even higher. So it depends on, on the environment. Instead of this, what we do have with continuous scroll? As I have mentioned, one of the most important benefits of continuous scroll is that the continuous scroll processes can be overlapped. So if the first scroll starts here and it runs until here, the, the second one still can get started here, the third one here, etc., etc. Why? Because with the continuous scroll, the crawler doesn't get that huge list of items first. It goes to the content source, picks up the item that has to get crawled and indexed, and sends immediately to the content processor. So it's a much more agile process. Um, second, if it runs into any error, it just goes further. So it just tries again. 
again and again and again. So it's, uh, it's much more dynamic and much more agile. What's the result? Instead of having this content freshness that we expected to be about two hours, we can have as good as this green one. Why? Because we can run multiple processes at the same time, so the processing of the content is much more effective and much faster and, and, and much better. Okay? So this is how the continuous scroll works. But once again, two important points about continuous scroll. First, it works on SharePoint content source only. No file shares, no exchange public folders, nothing but SharePoint content sources. Second, it takes a lot of resources because it's crawling continuously in on a lot of different processes. So if you would like to get continuous scroll in your environment, you have to get prepared for that and you have to plan for that. Okay, for continuous scroll, I have demonstrated the PowerShell script for the, so to speak, almost continuous scroll that has the benefit that it works on any kind of content sources with some modification. It works on SharePoint 2010 or Fast Search for SharePoint only. And uh, you can use it and, and feel free to use it. <clears throat> 